What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, take a look at this. Yes, sir. We got ourselves our 15th badge here in this game, and now it is time for us to take on the final gym leader of Kanto. Now, if uh, memory serves me correctly, this game happens to be three years after the events of both Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Leaf Green, Fire Red, you know, that kind of stuff. And if you guys remember, we did meet up with Blue or Gary himself. He's still a little bitter because, well, yeah, he was the former champion for about five minutes. Until we whooped this candy, but, you know, that's right. So, anywho, let's go straight to Viridian Forest. And, uh, yes, let's go ahead and, uh, time to handle some midness right here. Okay? Okay, alrighty. So, first is first, guys. We gotta, we, we, we really need to stock up on some items because, well, you know, who knows what, who knows what Gary's gonna be doing right here. Now, before we do anything, let's see how, let's see what kind of items my mom got. Shuka berries, Rindo berries, uh, Koba berries, got a lot of those. Haban berries. Uh, Tenga berries. In Spanish, that's thong. And, well, let's go right ahead and buy ourselves quite a few more, uh, well, actually, we do have enough right there. I think revives. Actually, you know what? We don't really need anything else, okay? So let's just get the heck out of here. We were just really there for our mom's, uh, messenger boy and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and let's go straight to the Pokemon gym. So if you guys remember, we did beat Giovanni, and then it ended everything. It ended uh, the whole thing, but then later on, three years later down the line, the former champion himself took over this gym. How was it? Were you able to beat the, beat, beat the gym leader? Uh, I haven't beat him yet. And well, the Radio City gym leader, dot dot dot, the rest is ineligible. Well, that's, that's funny. Now, if uh, you remember, gold, silver, and crystal, there is no trainers here. And uh, you can just go straight to Gary himself. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's going to notice you. He's going to be like, yo, legend in the making. The floor is unusable, so you can put your Pokemon away. Now, the gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business, as you guys can see. Yeah, he's that guy. He is that guy with uh, with 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 these uh, these 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 thingies right here. Holy crud baskets! And yeah, okay. So uh, let's see. Memory serves me correctly. Let's go right here. And uh, yeah, Team Rocket used to use this, and I think there's like about four trainers right here. Of course, I'm just like you know, I'm going off of uh, you know feeling and all that stuff. Don't worry, guys. I eventually get it. But as you guys can see, this whole place makes my head hurt just because you're trying to figure out which way to go and it looks like to me we're going to be going right here because we need to stay away from the edges and let's see if you go let's go up here and this one will lead us to let's see okay so the goal is to get to the gym leader if we don't get to the gym leader oh you know what if we don't get to the gym leader then you know the trainers are next and it looks like to me... Yeah, okay, so it's gonna lead us to some Pokemon trainers first. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle these guys, and as you guys can see, these guys actually have some pretty good Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use a Stone Edge on this guy. Let's go... Waterfall right here, Trick Room. And if you guys don't know, Trick Room is a move that will mess you up if, if your Pokemon is faster than the other. And, well, let's go right ahead and do that. And, of course, we lose. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and go with Hercules right here. Body Slam onto Azuril. And let's go with a Brick Break onto Porygon 2. And, yeah, since we are faster, they're going to be hitting us first. And that right there is going to be something pretty big right there, guys. So just be aware of that Trick Room attack. And, yes, let's go right ahead, heal up our Pokemon. Because, well, we don't want, we don't want, yeah, we don't want to... Come in, come in here all messed up and everything. So let's go right ahead. Use this revive. Dark side got his butt kick. Let's go with full stores. This guy right here. And this guy right here. And there we go. So now the goal is to try and get to the gym leader. As you guys can see, he's a very tricky guy to find. And this is going to lead to all the trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and just battle on. 
And here we go, Surf Attack. We're gonna be getting faked out, and... Here's a trick out, so obviously the slowest Pokemon's gonna go first, and here comes Pseudo Wudo. I would love to use Fluff Volt, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. So let's go, let's continue on right here. Fluff Volt would probably be slower than, uh, wow. Yeah, Fluff Volt would probably be strong, uh, would be slower than, uh, than Pseudo Wudo. So Stone Edge hitting us, and that for the win, and just like that, we have to heal up our Pokemon again. Good gravy. So, let's see. Let's go with the Revive and Super Potion, or Hyper Potion right here. There we go. And the next the next portion of this whole thing is we have to locate the next part. So, let's see. Hmm. Go right here. Okay, so what if we go... Okay, I'm probably going to do something very unpopular, but let's see. Right... Here. Yeah, okay, so that, that still lead us, leads us to where we need to be. If we go... Up here... Oh, I see where this is going. Okay, so that should have led us right there. Okay, I know where to go now. So, let's see. Right here. Right here. And if we go right here... And there we go. We are right in front of the gym leader himself. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon because I kind of have a feeling what kind of Pokemon we're going to be taking on. And, well, saving our game just in case, you know, something messes up. And there we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take on Gary himself. Yo, finally, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood in Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. Dot, dot, dot. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gyms are, are, are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good enough, uh, you're good or not by battling you right now. So here it is, guys. The final gym battle in all the game, in all of Kanto, and it's against Gym Leader Blue slash Gary. He will have six Pokemon in all. And yes, all six of these Pokemon are well above level 50s. And he is not just a monotype trainer. He will have a variety of Pokemon. And as you guys can see, we kind of figured him out pretty quickly. And he's gonna be coming out with a Rhydon. So let's go straight for Nessie herself, himself, and let's go with a Surf Attack. For the win, as you guys can see, his Pokemon are buffed up and everything. And here he's gonna be coming out with a Machamp. So let's go straight for Togepri. And Togepri, let's go with Extra Sensory. And, well, Extra Sensory, not gonna do much. So, there we go. We're gonna go straight for this guy. And one more. Come on, finish him off. And there you go. Survives by one HP. How do you like me now? Okay, so he's gonna be coming out with a Pidgeot. And Fluffolt, let's get this. And, well, here's Fluff, here's Pidgeot. I believe his strongest Pokemon, and yes, this Pokemon is paralyzed, and just like that, we win. Oh my god. And here comes Arcanine, so this Pokemon right here is definitely a Pokemon that you need to be careful for, because, yes, level 58 likes to do the whole, you know, intimidate thing, and well, here we go. And well, we need to actually heal up our Pokemon yet again, because of a specific move that he just happened to get hit with and well here comes extreme speed let's go with surf and F fire blitz hits us so let's go with dark side right here and that right there earthquake attack for the win and the sandstorm's gonna be hitting him so here comes a flare blitz and here comes earthquake attack for the win there we go and, well, let's see. We're going to be increasing up our, our Shell Bell just a little bit. And, well, the Sandstorm rages on. And here he's going to be coming out with a Gyarados. This is going to be a little tough. So we're going to be going... Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so here is Gyarados, level 52. And he's like, <laughs> you're prepared for this. We'll knock you out. Gyarados is scary. So let's go straight for a Stone Edge. And there comes a Dragon Stance. And... Full, full Restore doesn't do anything. So let's go one more time. And Stone Edge for the win. 
Thankfully, it didn't use the Dragon's Dance anymore because that would have been messed up. And just like that, guys, throwing out the peace sign. I'm flipping you off. This is the real power of Johto. Yes, it is. I'm flipping you off. No way! How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> All right. Here, take this. It's the inner, it's the Earth Badge. And just like that, guys. Yes. We finally earned all the badges, and as you guys can see, with this badge, you'll be able to use the HM Move Rock Climb here. And take this as well. We're going to get ourselves the TM92. This happens to be Trick Room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before the faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very trick move, isn't it? Hence the name. Dot, dot, dot. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer, but I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Yeah, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it back then, and you won't do it now. So there it is, guys. We have finally won all 16 badges in the whole game right here. Whew, holy crud. And to think I did this all in one afternoon, let's go ahead and go straight to our trainer card, and look at that. Bam! I'm feeling a little heavy. <clears throat> yeah, champ. The champ. That's right. So anywho... Let's get the heck out of here. And now, once you defeat Blue or Gary, you're going to get a call from Professor Oak. And he's going to be like, Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you were working. I thought that I should uh, present you or something uh, in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. It's something that will very, be very helpful to you. You should come, uh, come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. So, let's finish this off, guys. Let's go straight for, let's go straight for this. We're gonna be, oh wow, yeah. Chubby, but, uh, chubby fingers, you gotta love the chubby fingers. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly all the way back down to Kanto because now that we have all 16 badges, we are at, we're pretty much at liberty to do anything we want. So here we are in Pallet Town, and we're going to go right in here to the professor's lab. And, well, Professor Oak's going to be like, good to see you. This is what I wanted to give you. And there it is, guys. We grabbed ourselves the HM08 Rock Climb. And when it when you teach it to a Pokemon, you can uh, you can go up walls that have stepped uh, steps carved into them. Those badges, wow! Oh wow! You have not only become the Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done. Hmm. No wonder I sent something in you when we met. Tell you what, Draven, I'll make arrangements so you can uh, go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is the big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an, an exception in your case, Draven. Go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. And, well, there it is, guys. That completes our little marathon for this week. So, again, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys out there for supporting this, this walkthrough, including my channel. Uh, thank you guys again for helping me achieve the subscriber count, the merch the merch uh, shop that I, I, I've just acquired, and everything else. Thank you guys, it, it really means a lot, and hopefully we can continue on right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed every single episode that I came out with this week. I know, it's a little bit rushed, I could have done this in three weeks, but I kind of wanted to do it right now, that way we could be on par with Pokemon Emerald. So anywho, Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. It is time for our side quest. See you guys.